All right, guys, we have a 2021 Mustang back at the shop, uh, previously built. Um, we call it our 800 horsepower package, supercharged package on our website. So those of you interested in it, go to the website. It is a 21, 800 horsepower Whipple supercharged package. Essentially, it's a Whipple supercharger, upgraded injectors, uh, I think we upgraded the heat exchanger on it and a larger throttle body and obviously a complete tune. Uh, that car on 93 octane made right at 670 rear wheel horsepower where she sits now. Um, he's been driving the car for probably six months, daily drives the car, races it every weekend. Um, and literally the car has not skipped a beat. He beats the crap out of this car and the car still has no issues. But just like any other gearhead like us, He's back for more horsepower now. So next up is more boost. So we are gonna go from, I think we had ID 1050s in it. We're gonna upgrade to an ID 1300 injector. Uh, I'm gonna do our four triple pump fuel system, which is kind of an overkill. Uh, the last twin turbo uh, 2020 Mustang we did, we did two pumps in the tank and it held, I think it was like 12 or 1300 rear wheel horsepower. Um, but for this setup, we're just gonna go ahead and go overkill and do three pumps in the tank and turn the boost up from, I think it's right around 11 pounds right now to roughly 15 or 16 is the goal on E85. And I'm hoping we go from 670 rear wheel horsepower to, I'm hoping for 800 rear wheel horsepower. Um, if we can get a little bit more out of it, there should be a bonus. But just wanna show you guys a little bit of the fuel system and why it's so expensive to kind of take that next step. Um, the supercharger's already there. It's just, it can make as much horsepower as we want. The blower's a three liter supercharger, right? But to turn the boost up, we have to have the fuel to support it. And that's where money starts adding up when it comes to parts. You know, this whole system here is roughly, I was gonna say $3,000 in parts. And the labor to install this isn't a simple uh, external fuel pump that you just sump the tank with. You got three pumps that go in the tank, we actually have dual regulators. I think Darren already took one regulator to start working on it now. So you have one regulator that feeds for the direct injection for the mechanical fuel pump. And then we have another regulator that goes off of to regulate the port injection side. Um, obviously three pumps with the hat that goes in the tank. So you gotta pull the tank that's in the back seat. Um, all new fuel lines, fuel filter, and then we have our distribution block uh, for boost reference for everything else. And then obviously you have the controller it comes with the FC3 controller, which essentially the way this kit works is the car runs and drives on one fuel pump. And then as it sees boost, which our boost reference has, then it kicks on both pumps to give us all of it. So again, little, uh, I don't know. Just want to show you all that's a uh, little bit more intense than just a uh, adding a little fuel pump to the car and giving it more boost. You know, to do it the right way, um, in my opinion, it takes the right parts and in installing it properly to get a reliable thousand horsepower car. Um, we do it all the time with the GMs. Now we're doing a lot more with the Fords. And uh, yeah, that's that. Hopefully uh, next week you'll see a video of this thing on the dyno and we'll see how much we get going with more boost in E85. <laughs> All right, I forgot to mention, um, the customer did take this setup to the track. Those of you interested in our 800 horsepower package, uh, he is a larger gentleman. So the weight I'll say is probably 200 pounds more than your average guy. And still went a 10, nine, I think at 131 miles an hour. I'm hoping after this round of mods, it'll be a low 10, if not, hopefully a solid nine second car. Um, and that is on an 18 inch drag radial with the Mickey Thompson on the back with, uh, I think, factory wheels and tires up front. But it is a drag radial on the back, so that thing, it just dead hooks and goes. Like I said, he races this car every weekend and every week, every chance that he gets. So anyways, 1090 with 670 rear wheel horsepower. And we're hoping, like I said, 800 plus right around. And hopefully a low 10, high nine second pass next time out. But I don't know results to come. Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really want to see it, you can. Um, yeah, we we never made a good video of this to show the world. Um, we kind of just built it really fast like we're doing now. No one ever sees some of the cool shit we do. All these loud cars around here never fail. Hold on. We 
build out of our parking lot. Yeah, buddy. That's an extra $25 an hour to do this. Um, but no, hey, this thing does have a drop-in pump, didn't we do? What do we do for our fuel uh, system on this? Two Schwartz, two Schwartz. Two Schwartz, two Schwartz. No, D, D. Injectors. Yes. So yeah, this is, like I said, what I stated earlier. It was good enough for the package that we sell. Um, again, most customers will be happy with this and the horsepower and how good it runs. It's more than enough that for your average guy. But again, you know, once you get used to it, you always want more. So next round of mods, turn the boost up, but we can't just turn the boost up and put E85 in it because we'll run out of fuel, hence why we're putting the crazy four fuel system on it. But yeah, a car that literally starts up and runs and drives like a stock car until you get on it. Killer setup. And nothing drivability wise is gonna change once we're done with this. It's gonna still be the exact same car, just yeah. more horsepower. This is definitely the guy she told you not but, to worry about. But seriously, look at it. If you look, this thing pulled up next to you at a stoplight, you would have no idea. You think you're running a stock Mustang. You, you better run if it's on street tires and they're both going in the ditch. <laughs> now, if you leave the traction control on it, it's pretty it straight. But now, when you're hey, making, are we putting a breather on it now? Right? Yeah. So fuel system, turn the boost up, and a breather. Three main mods. Going from our 800 horsepower package to close to our 1,000 horsepower package. And, and we might do long tube headers as well. I forgot about that. We'll probably do long tube headers as well. Transmission will last for a solid week and a half. <laughs> With you driving. No, I don't, this thing will be good. Hey, didn't uh, this thing beat a ZR, C7 ZR1? Mm, this gave, <laughs> listen, listen. Traction was a problem. I and a CA. Justin for once. Yeah, you did get a CA too. You got me twice. You know, I've been, I've been beating up on him for the past two years. He deserves it. He got two Ws in the past month. Good job, little Ford. Good job, little Ford. Oh, it's about to run good, bro. You really, what do you, what's your prediction? ET. What, coming up? Yeah, when we're done with it. Without a converter in 970. He's optimistic. I said, I said 990, 1020s. Are you quitting already? Done. He's done. Game over. Uh, we don't worry about shit. <laughs> He's got a hole in the hood. That's what everyone else does. That shit drives me nuts, we'll bro. Get a, we'll get a too high PSI. Look clear. Oh God! Edit that out. <laughs> It'll clear. Edit that out. Oh, that's good marketing. Too high for this high. Did that intake ever show up or the lid? Okay. Give me an outro. All right. Um, are you gonna video this thing going together? More or probably not. Yeah. You probably won't because you're. I mean, it's already night, together. Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? You won't see the fuel We're, we're going to do a it, complete right? full video with action and After, all that. Right? So, yeah, this is just okay. a little preview. Okay. What? All right. Do what? Is already on. Don't stop it, Dan. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. I know. He's, He's ruining the video. We're not telling them that yeah. yet. They're, they're oh, not, not. You got to do it in order. The, 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 the magic. The, the, There's the, editing the magic. The web doesn't know this. Yeah, all right. Sauce, so, right, so do a whip first and Dan's going to get to it. We're going to go from our 800 to, we're going to call it close to our 1,000 horsepower package. Hopefully, uh, wrap it up and get on the dyno next. Good? You need more. Hey, definitely. Well, how is, mention our website. Okay. And okay, start off. All right. Definitely reverse the video, tell them to put headers first. Yeah. If we did the headers after, and it sucks because the blower, you want them to do the headers first. It was a mother Listen, fun. we're set, our 800 horsepower package is perfect without headers. You don't have to have headers yeah, on it. Don't you don't need it. Yeah, that's just sound, bro. I think we've uh, lost all the viewers by now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and get, you said get the drive. Everyone duck. You have all the pallets. Um, all right, all right. So we are about to put the thing on the rack. Have Dan start going on the fuel system and everything. Again, go to our website, guys. You'll see under. Uh, the new Mustang section, this would be our supercharged 800 horsepower package, kind of give you an idea of the list of mods that is on the car currently. And then next up, like I said, when we're done with it, I'm gonna call this probably a close to a thousand horsepower package. It might be 950 to a thousand, depending on how much boost we end up finishing with. Um, and we'll know that hopefully soon enough. Uh, we'll get some dyno 
action for you guys and then some street action to show you uh we'll put a drag in to do some 6130s and even some quarter mile stuff if uh the tracks are closing soon for winter so we might have to do that on out in mexico but we'll get some action here soon dan's still working in the parking lot for some reason Till next time bye guys